Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core <coughs> and today I'm going to show you the second video tutorial of Web API and uh, in this project first of all create a model uh, to create uh, for accessing uh, data from model to controller so just add a, a new folder that is the model folder okay so here we have a model and just add a new class inside a model that is the category uh, template uh, okay so here we have a category class and in the category class here we have some uh, properties like id like name okay so here we have a title so just save this and how to access that model in a controller so add a new api controller select in the panel uh, that is then add new scaffold item so here we have in the left panel there is the middle uh, and there is a right panel so here we have a common and uh, just in the common section here we have a api and select the api controller empty controller so just add it now after that you can uh, put the, some name for the controller uh, just adding some values just in front of uh, with the controller name like the category controller so here we have the controller name is the category and the route parameter that is the api route api slash controller name that is the uh, category controller so in a uh, rest api here we have some uh, verb uh, here we have some verb like uh, http get http post put and uh, delete uh, so just check on the google rest api verbs so here we have some uh, verb uh, related to the uh, rest api so just go for the image section and here we have some verbs like create read update and delete for the create you can say that uh, to insert data into the database table that you can use post if you want to get the data from uh, database table then you can use get update for the put and delete for the delete okay so here we have the crud operations so simply i will do uh, in the in this uh, in this video tutorial just uh, add uh, two values first of all get and the post so here we have just uh, add Mm. list of category so here we have a model so just use public static list of category and category is the name new list of category and here you can add <coughs> that category values name that is the id property first of all so here we have a id is one and category is the title the category title is what that is uh, electronic okay so here the first uh, category and there is the second category that is the new category and the id is 2 and the title is that is the uh, fashion so here we have two categories in the section just i want to uh, here we have a mock data uh, to mock data to display in a uh, postman so just i want to uh, use first verb that is http get how to use http get in a uh, rest api so here we have uh, some methods just i want to return uh, like the public uh, list of just i want to return list of category and the method name is get okay so there is a no relation between the methods because the route parameter is uh, route is api slash controller okay so and the method uh, and the verb is http get so if you are use if you are uh, access 
uh, API slash controller a uh, name that is the category then you just go uh, that then your compiler just go for that uh, go for this method okay so there is a no uh, uh, no relation between here we have with the method name if you are uh, using method name like that action name it here so that is the relation with the action name but here is not related with the action name okay or you can say that the method name <coughs> just written uh, category because here we have a list of category and if you are using http post so http post and uh, you can use public post just i want to uh, add some value uh, in it here okay so here we have uh, some uh, just i want to add some value in the category so just you can say that i action result and uh, just you can use post later on i will discuss about this method that is category and you can use it here that is the from body because i uh, just i insert the data uh, from the from body uh, from body uh, section so here we just i want to add this category in the category list so here we have a categories uh, there is the name that is category dot add oops here we have a list of category so okay no uh, this is this is the actually is the local parameter so just you can use cat here and you can use category here dot add cat okay so this is the method and return with the okay message and that's this is the category okay so here we have uh, this is the post action method now just test this api on your postman just click on to the test web api web project uh, yt and you can see uh, what is the api what is the behavior of this api and how to access this api over two method http get and http post here we have a uh, uh, by default document generated by the swagger and uh, how this generated because here we have a document uh, section in the uh, program.cs file here you can see that uh, here we have this line of code builder.services.add swagger generator so by using this swagger use swagger this is the pipelining and uh, use swagger ui also in the development phase if you are using development then uh, you can use this swagger features like this this is the swagger features so here we have a get action method try it out and execute it and here we have two data that is the electronics and the fashion and if you want to put some categories it here then you can use try it out and id is what id is 3 and uh, just i want to use that is fashion electronic and the kitchenware okay so here we have just put this data executed and here you can see that uh, this is the data curl operations and here we have a success code that is 200 that is the good response to adding api and your generated data is here id is 1 2 and title is 3 so here we have uh, this is the example to demonstrate the api and the verb that is http get and http put but uh, in the later session i will uh, use only uh, here i used uh, i action result instead of this line of code okay so this is the right method to uh, to design the api okay so how to test this uh, things in the in using uh, postman so
so here we have a uh, postman installed postman and just i want to use this um, feature right here so here we have a get action method and the enter url and the enter url is this like this and what is the code so here we have uh, the base url first of all just copy that base url and paste it here and after that use api section so here we have a uh, here we have a code and you can see that the route is api and slash the controller name so just type the controller name only and get and here your verb is get so just call it and get the uh, data so here we have a three data in the list that is electronic fashion and the kitchen wear okay so uh, just add a new tab in the postman and select post action method at here and the base url is this like this and api and slash post and what is the actually post uh, sorry select uh, category api and click category but but you are but you are using the post uh, verb at here in the body section you just add uh, the line of code and here we have a, a graph ql row data just select the row data and uh, also here we have a json format just i want to use json format at here so here we have the json thing and uh, the id is what the id is the id is 4 and uh, the title is the title is um, decorate decoration okay so here we have this uh, line of code and here you can see that uh, status code is 200 with this uh, time 40 milliseconds and your data is like this so this is the api and you design the api in the later videos i will uh, design the project so we will work with the project okay and also consume this api in uh, angular in uh, blazor and uh, many more uh, uh, many more front end tools okay so wait for some times and uh, this is th that is the video for you and this is only the second video uh, in the later video you will see amazing things about uh, rest apis thank you guys and please don't forget please subscribe my channel also press the bell icon if you know and if you want to know more about asp.net core rest api thank you very much for watching